All right, listen, podcasts are taking over. Why are they taking over? Eh, I'm going to ask my guest in a minute. My humble opinion is, man, social media is just a place for fighting and bickering and just bots and stupidity uh, in in the overwhelming majority of the noise. But when you want to have a long considered conversation like we're having now, podcasts are such a reprieve from the the inaneness of uh, social media and the lack of depth. And we kind of get back to expertise. And boy, do we have expertise today. Dan Granger runs Oxford Road, which is one of, I don't know, what are you, one of the top three agencies in podcasting? I mean, you kind of pioneered this all. Yeah, I I think that's fair. Thank you. Yeah. And you uh, started working with all those D2C direct consumer companies, but now it's expanding. Um, I'm curious what you think of Clips. And what you think of sort of micro content and this growing trend where people are clipping up the podcasts and and people maybe consuming little pieces of it. Right. I, well, first of all, I, as a promotional tool, you know, samples are always the best if you can do it. And when you're in entertainment of any kind of product, you want to show a trailer, you want to give people a taste of what they're going to get if they come for the whole thing. Right. Hmm. So I think a, as a promotional vehicle all day long, everywhere you can get it where there's a like audience that might have an interest in that. I think you're touching on something that's very important when we talk about what the next revolution is going to be um, in the space, because the thing has to keep evolving. And and I am predicting that I think um, multi-length content is going to be a big deal. Wait, wait to find what multi-length content is. Basically, not every show has to be an hour long. Oh, I see what you're saying. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. The show ends when it's not interesting, which is how Howard Stern started doing it. Right. Joe Rogan, I do it, everybody. Right. But but at the same time, you know, if you I don't know how far you've gone with Alexa and flash briefings, but I think there's a very interesting model that's starting to occur where you can actually string together little samples of your favorite news outlets and get them in bite sizes and yes. through voice command, tell them what you want next, put them in any order that you want. And it's in constant rotation and being refreshed all the time. Now, that hasn't really connected yet with the personality driven ecosystem that is podcast right now. It's very focused on news. But I think that's going to change. I'm calling that right now. I think that's going to be a big, big deal because, look, I may want to hear everything that you have to say this week, and yet I've only got 10 minutes for you. Mm. Can I get a best of? Can I get it curated so that I can have some of, so I can have the highlights, or I can pick and choose more? I, I Yeah, I, I think the best of in the clips is kind of interesting. The thing I don't like, which I'm seeing more of, Marco is people taking my show and other shows, clipping them, and then inserting advertising in between them. And I I think Stitcher did this to me at some point, and I went bonkers on the Stitcher per- people. I was like, guys, uh, what are you doing? Like, you, you're, because you're, you're, they were selling ads in front of the podcast. I'm and like, you didn't we, get a taste? And I didn't get my beak wet. And I'm like, yeah. hey, guys, you're, and I, the reason I found out about it is because one of their salespeople, I think, um, listen, if it wasn't Stitcher, I'm sorry, but it was one of them. And uh, and I, it, I turned out I knew somebody who was running, and I said, if you're gonna, if you're gonna have your salespeople saying they're selling ads before my podcast or in between my podcast and this week in tech or whatever it is, like I'm, I'm going to block you from using our feed, and I'm going to send you a legal letter. And they backed down, and they said, well, what would it take? I said, don't do it. I don't want your ads anywhere near. I don't want you selling it. I don't want 30% of what you sell. I don't want 100% of what you sell. I don't want you selling against my ads. What are your thoughts on on this sort of growing trend? Well, the good thing is that that has mostly not happened recently. Like that, that I think you're right. That was Stitcher back in the day and they, they did stop doing it eventually because it caused so much blowback. Um, but the good oh, thing so is that- I got that, it right. It was Stitcher, right? Good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. Um, yeah. The good thing is that uh, now you are in full control for the most part. That platforms like Spotify, I'm pretty sure, either already has announced plans to do that, or at, at least you, when you when you sign up for Spotify to have your podcast playable in Spotify, mm. uh, you agree to let them do things like that. Mm. Um, and that's why, like you know, apps like Overcast, I don't have to ask everybody to play their podcasts. I don't have to have you opt in and agree to my terms. I'm just reading your RSS feed and playing what's there. And if I don't yeah. like, if I don't. In, inject my own ads in the middle of your show uh, mm. that nobody has, has any problem with that because that's fine right I'm just playing the RSS feed that's there um, but if you have a platform that's going to start doing that to your content that's going to like, really like modify it like that uh, then they have to get your, your permission by by most interpretations of, of the copyright issues here so the good thing is that those platforms 
if they if they still exist at all, tend to be opt-in. The bad thing is that if Spotify gets so much market share that you pretty much have to opt in to have your stuff yeah. reach a big audience, then you basically lose control of yourself. And this is this is the YouTube problem, right? Like if you want to have video out there in the world that anybody sees, you pretty much have to agree to whatever YouTube dictates. Right. Uh, and so again, like this is why I I try very hard to not let this happen in the podcast space. If any app gets like significant market share and they start dictating terms, we're all going to have to agree to them. And that's not a good place to be for creators or listeners, frankly. And so that's why it's so important to keep this ecosystem as open as possible and to to actively fight against you know entities like Spotify that are that are that are going the other direction.